point eight multiply by one point two. When we multiply the decimal numbers, we will first multiply numbers without decimals. That means I will multiply twenty eight with twelve, and then once you will multiply it, you will get your answer as three hundred and thirty six. Now after that. we will write the same number here but we need to put the decimal point in the answer as well so for that we need to count how many digits are there after the decimal point in the question so there are one and two digits in total in the question that means in the answer also there should be two digits after the point so if i will put a point here i have two digits after the point in the answer as well similarly if i write on here 0.28 into 1.2 now since the numbers i have kept same so the answer will again be 336 if i will multiply 28 with 12 but here we need to see how many digits are there after the point so there are 1 Two and three digits after the point. That means in the answer also there should be three digits after the point. So if I will put a point here, I have one, two, three, three digits after the point. That is the answer for this question. Similarly, if I will take zero point two eight into zero point one two, I have kept the number same for your better understanding. So the number will get. Three hundred and thirty-six again. If I will multiply twenty-eight with twelve, now in the question we have one, two, three, four, four digits after the point. So we can write down three, three, six, zero, or we can write down zero, three, three, six. We cannot write this because the value will change. It will become three thousand three hundred and sixty. But here the value will remain same, three hundred and thirty-six. So where to put a zero before the answer, and then we will put a point here. Now after the point, we have total four digits. This is how we can multiply the decimal numbers. Now there is a question for you: two point five into one point two. 0.25 into 0.12 what will be the answers for these questions do write in the comment section now let's understand how to divide for example 2.8 divided by 0.04 now 0.04 is the divisor here so what we need to do we have to shift this point After all the digits in this decimal number, so we have four here. So we will move it here. So what we will get, we will get just a four. So we need a whole number. Similarly, if I will move the decimal point here, so we need to take one thing into consideration. If I will move. the point after the two digits in the decimal number i have to move the point after the two digits in the dividend also that means if i will move it here i need another zero and then i will get here 280 and when you will divide 280 with 4 you will get your answer as 70 so zero and this zero we can Write down here because we cannot divide zero with four, so we'll get answer equals to seventy. Similarly, three point two five divided by two point five. Now I have to shift this point over here. What I'll get? I'll get here twenty five. Now I have. Shifted the point after one digit. Here also, I will shift the point after one digit. So what I'll get? Thirty-two point five. Now, if I will divide thirty-two point five with twenty-five, what I will write? Twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Now I'll get here seven as a remainder. Since we have a point here, so we have to put this point in the answer, and then we can write down this next digit after this. So we'll get here twenty-five threes are. Seventy-five. That means the answer for this question is one point three. Similarly, if I will divide three point two five with 
zero point two five. I will shift this point after two digits. Similarly, I need to shift this point after two digits. So I'll get three hundred and twenty-five divided by twenty-five. If you will divide, you will get your answer equals to thirteen. Similarly, if I'll take another example, zero point zero zero eight divided by zero point two. I will shift this. After one digit, here also I will shift this. After one digit, what I'll get? Point zero eight divided by two. So when I divide point zero eight with two, I already have a point. So first I will put a point here. Then I will start dividing it. So zero, and then I'll put here zero. Then eight two fours are eight. So the answer is equals to point zero four. So this way you can divide the decimal numbers with the whole numbers or the decimal numbers. And now there is a question for you: zero point seven five divided by two point five, zero point zero seven five divided by zero point two five. Write the answers in the comment section.